Each a returning champion, Elgin Tensity. On November 19, Jaguar posted a 30-second video ad that featured androgynous characters in colorful outfits rather than its own cars. It looked like a collab between Benetton and the Teletubbies if everyone in the group were suspect, not just one member. Jaguar's Copy Nothing ad was universally panned, as the marketing team behind it learned nothing from the other companies that embraced inclusivity only to lose many of their core customers, like Bud Light did last year. Instead, Jaguar said, hold my beer. And that is why Jaguar is getting slaughtered in public like a wet market. I'd rather ride in an elevator with Solange. At least I'd be able to identify my attacker by gender. Live vivid, they said at the colorful brand funeral. Delete ordinary. If Jaguar deleted criticism, there'd be fewer people in the comments than in that elevator. I don't know what planet that's supposed to be, but it probably represents the alienation that Jaguar's customers feel. And they look like the kind of predators Jaguar shouldn't be associated with. How subtle, their heads and the letters in Jaguar's new logo go both ways. The reason for and the person behind this ad aren't surprising. Jaguar's sales have tanked over the years, so it hired a marketing guru with sugar in his tank, Santino Pietrosanti. While wearing his formal onion bag shirt, he spoke at last month's Virgin Atlantic Attitude Awards, powered by Jaguar. Not only did they learn nothing from the Bud Light debacle, they applauded it. Let's hear more from the man hired to revive Jaguar before he hits the town to rally bears. And at Jaguar, we're passionate about our people, and we're committed to fostering a diverse, inclusive, and unified culture that is representative not only of the people who use our products, but in a society in which we all live. We've established over 15 DEI groups. And that's why everyone in the ad channeled Chris Tucker from The Fifth Element. Nobody cares who a car company hires as long as they make great cars. When you hire for DEI instead of ROI, that never happens. Instead of dying to a competitor, the company appealing to alphabet people is on pace to self-delete. Centering a brand around diversity and inclusivity when the underlying products price out most people proves that Jaguar's masterminds are dick brains. On that note, Jaguar's managing director, Rodden Glover, defended its bold rebranding, saying that its message had been lost in a blaze of intolerance online. Regardless of what you think about that ditty party in space, it's not intolerant to think that a car commercial with no cars in it sucks. It didn't even show Jaguar's classic Growler and Leaper logos. The car company that hides its cats hired models who look like they tuck their snakes. Glover continued, If we play in the same way that everybody else does, we'll just get drowned out. So we shouldn't turn up like an auto brand. The problem is that this ad is straight out of the modern corporate marketing playbook, along with rainbow logos every June. Car buyers want cool cars, not fake agendas. I haven't seen an expensive Jaguar product with such poor support since Atari's last console. The teaser was meant to be the start of a crucial promotional campaign to revive the ailing Jaguar brand, which plans to go all-electric by next year, ahead of the UK's 2030 target to stop selling new, purely fossil fuel-powered cars. But the promotion unexpectedly stumbled ahead of the unveiling of its new electric GT model. It makes no sense to market yourself as a dynamic luxury brand when you're just going to make boring EVs for alphabet people. Jaguar was once Austin Powers' car of choice. Now the only British mystery associated with that company is which bathrooms are they supposed to use? Executives say they want to target younger and wealthier customers to recreate its image as a pure luxury brand rather than a legacy automotive brand. Glover said, this is not a depiction of how we think our future customers are. We don't want to necessarily leave all our customers behind, but we do need to attract a new customer base. This commercial is obviously aimed at dimwits who prioritize diversity over product quality, but these days many of them either don't have 70k to spend on a car, or take public transportation every time they leave their parents' house. Jaguar would probably sell more cars to the next wave of men with midlife crises than to the Zoomers with cost of living crises. A luxury car can be gone in 60 seconds, but Jaguar's ad proves that a luxury car's goodwill can be gone in half that time. By parading around a bunch of Zoolander extras to show us La Tigre instead of La Jaguar, the company wanted to distract everyone from the fact that it isn't producing new cars until it transitions to EVs, but this campaign could stem the cash flow that it needs until it makes the switch. 
Jaguar doesn't have nine lives, so it needs to figure out how to recover from the blunders of its marketing campaign. Otherwise, the only way it'll copy nothing is by going extinct. Zero!